What's up, YouTubers? This is my new homemade vivarium or terrarium, whichever you want to call it. I'm just glad it came out really good, so I really don't care. <laughs> but the length of it is 3 feet, the width is 2 feet, and the height is 4 feet. I just made it over the weekend, and I think it came out really well. Can go ahead and describe what I did real quick to it. Alright, from the first nine inches of the tank from the bottom up is just plexiglass, the bottom and the sides, and it has silicone on the bottom. Just just to make it waterproof, because like that I do have a watering system on it that works really well. So I did need that. And also a drainage system right over there where those rocks are. So like that I don't have it over filling on me. And the bottom, as you can see, has a whole bunch of artificial plants. Oh, sorry about that. I just got a text message. But, yeah, the whole bottom just has a whole bunch of fake plants. And the reason behind that is for their crickets and insects. So, like, that, if any of them fall down, they could just go ahead and climb up on the fake plants and get out of the water so they don't drown on me. But yeah, and then from there up, I have artificial plants. I have vines going throughout the whole tank because they do need it to climb around everywhere and get everywhere. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And all these plants are fake for now. I want to add some live ones, but I can't find any for a good price. Or actually, I can't find any that aren't toxic to chameleons, so I haven't put any. But as you can see, I have all the fake plants wrapped around the vine, really cool and everything. And the top section of the tank, as you can see right here, you can see the plexi, and right here it's just mesh. And yeah, I think it came out really good. I got a good seal on it. And my watering system is homemade. It's a homemade misting system. Well, it's not really a misting system, but it's a watering system. It works really well, though. I really like it. I only spent, like, 50 bucks to make it. When you could go and buy something online for reptiles and stuff that costs, like, what is it, 190 I saw. The Mist King. So, I said screw that, and I made my own. And I think it works really well. But yeah. Also, I have a fog on here. Which is on about seven times a day. It's on a timer. All of my things are on timers, including my watering system and my lights. And of lighting, I have a UVA bulb. Right here, this front one. That longer one in the back is a UVB. And then this heat light right here is just a regular household bulb. It's 60 watt. And that farther one is a 60 watt household bulb also. And then I have a fogger that I got from PetSmart. I think it works really well. And yeah, let me go ahead and show you the door. The door, I have a little lock on it. And I have one on top too. It's just one of these regular hook ones, something tip on top, but yeah, the door is on a hinge, like that, it, this is in my room and it does open all the way without hitting anything, so I like that a lot, as you can see I held on the screen with staples, and it seems to be working really well, alright, and in here is one of my females, She's always on this branch, on this little fake plant. She loves it. She never comes off it, pretty much. And my other female is right here. The only reason I put them in this huge vivarium is because in the small one, they were fighting a lot. And I know you're not supposed to keep them together, but I am, and they're doing really well. So, yeah. Ha. But that's them fog right here. Let me go ahead and crank it up so you can see how much it puts out. And 
And as you can see, it's a whole bunch of fog coming out. But I like it very low. And as you can see, there's one of those sprinkler heads. Another one. And a third. And it is all in my five gallon bucket which works really good I love it and for my lights I do have all the switches handy for my heat lights at least so I could turn them off and on if I want to if I notice the temp in here is really hot for them I could turn off either or most likely it will be the bigger one of the two but yeah there are my two chameleons in a new vivarium Oh, and also, all the vines, I can't get a good look from there, but let's see right there. All the vines are hooked on here by eye screws. Just use eye screws like that, I won't have to worry about anything piercing the netting or anything like that, so yeah. But it is lights out for them, so go ahead and turn off all their stuff. But thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoy my new setup and my new vivarium that I built for these guys.